Hey gangsters, it's just me, Ghetto Mama. Anyway, I'm um, going to do a buck bomb tonight for you. And I made a southern dinner. I have black eyed peas and ham. It has little chunks of potatoes in it. And I have cornbread with butter on it. And I have cucumber salad that has vinaigrette on it. Um, diced onions, little cherry tomatoes, and garlic. And I hope I can do this. I'm having malfunctions, plate malfunctions. Let's see. Oh, maybe that's better. Yay! Nothing like a country crock to help me out. Anyway, and um, you've probably already seen it. My beverage is sweet tea to go with my soul, soul food dinner. Mmm, I didn't say cheers, sorry. Cheers. And uh, here we go. Pepper, 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 pepper. And some salt. Yeah, so we have a southern meal tonight. Um, if you didn't know, I've lived most of my life in Florida and uh, like southern food. It's all different down there in the south. They have a different way of talking and a different way of um, just operating. Some people think that the southern people are dumb because they're slow. No, they're not dumb because they're slow. Upstairs, they're slow because they're conserving energy because it's so dang hot. And the humidity will kick your ass, literally. So, yeah. Hold on. I have to get a paper towel. I had to do a sneaky reach. I couldn't reach and I was afraid I'd stand up and bang the table. To blow my nose too. Anyway, so southern people aren't stupid. They're just conserving energy. That's all. So, have anybody ever visited down south or you? <clears throat> are you from down south? Because they have a different way of talking too. And it's kind of regional. Some people talk uh, different. Like, um, I'll do some phrases and see if you can guess. If I ask you, can you carry me to the store? Do you know what that means? It means, give me a ride to the store. And if you ask somebody something, and it's usually a yes or no question, and they go, well, I reckon, do you know what that means? That means yes, most likely. So the slang is, like, different. Let's see, what can I, I'll say, I think of, hmm. Or how about somebody saying over yonder? Do you know what over yonder is? That means, like, over there. Or if they say, well, it's a good piece away. In other words, it's kind of far away. And don't ask directions to a southerner because you'll get, oh, well, it's down the road, over the creek, around the corner by Joe Bob's farm. And then you make a turn onto Little Dirt Patch Road and then you just follow it so far and then you see a big oak tree and you turn by the big oak tree, but they don't say where to turn. They just say turn by the oak tree. Um, usually that's the directions. It's not street names. It's icons. And you have to listen close and you have to remember it. And you might go into a restaurant and um, 
you'll see stuff on the menu that you don't know what it is. You'll see like grits. Say that it's a breakfast menu. You see fried eggs, grits for breakfast, and biscuits. Well, grits are good. They're corn. They're like little, uh, how can I put it? You know, like uh, the yellow cornmeal? It's like white cornmeal. They're really good. They taste like mushy popcorn in a way. And they're good with salt and pepper and butter, or they're good with butter and sugar and milk. They're good. And, uh, the South has restaurants called the Waffle House. And now I ask you, do you want it smothered? That means they're going to put gravy all over it. Smothered and covered. And let me tell you about church in Florida. Or South. They don't have just church. It is an event. You might go to church early in the morning, have Bible study and something, and then a little time break, and then the preacher starts preaching. I'm talking about a Pentecostal church, because I used to go to Pentecostal church. Well, the preacher would get preaching, they'd have praise and worship, people would be running up and down the aisles, singing, jumping, hooting, hollering, rolling on the floor, talking in tongues. That's when uh, they get hit with the Holy Ghost and they go blah, 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 and they talk in tongues. It's not fake. It's really not fake. I used to um, think it was fake. By the way, they have altar calls at the end of church. And everybody has a problem. They need prayer, so... Everybody goes up and gets prayer, and then it seems like we have church again. Another two hours of church. With the music going, praise and worship, praying for people. So, if you think it's sing a few songs and pass the bucket for money, uh-uh. Not a good old-fashioned Pentecostal church. Or Southern church in general. Another thing about Florida and being south is the weather. If it gets cloudy out, if it looks like rain. It's going to rain. So if you do your wash early in the morning, get all your housework done because it's too hot during the other part of the day, get your wash done. By 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning, it'll be dry by noon. You better pull it in or it's going to get rained on. Well, that's how it used to be when I lived there. <coughs> Plus, living in Florida, there's a... Um, A place they call Spook Hill, and the car will roll up the hill. They say it was because of Indians battling, or somebody was battling, and uh, they prayed and gave them strength to go up the hill to continue the fight, so it goes up the hill, the cars. That's in Lake Wells, Florida. I don't know. Florida was cool when I used to live there. But I'm in Nevada now. And I like Nevada. It is not humid here.
we have four seasons. And it looks like the seasons. Whereas Florida, it's a summer day every day. And it's kind of hard to cook Thanksgiving dinner. Or have Christmas when it's hot. It'll be like 90 degrees. Or it's a real drag, let me tell you. And then they have the Christmas parade. In Florida, and everybody's out there in their flip-flops and their shorts, walking up and down the street. Out here, when they have the Christmas parade, usually, well, in Reno, it's like December 2nd or 3rd. They usually have it. It's cold. And then you're debating if you want to go or not because you don't want to stand there and freeze. But that's always fun. And down there you got Disney and Universal Studios. Those are kind of cool places to go. And they got a place called Wiki Witchy Watchy where they have mermaids. That's in clear water. So what they have out here in Nevada, we have Lake Tahoe. But that's not a place necessarily to go swimming in. Because, because that lake is really deep. Every year it claims that somebody's life or a few people's life. People go paddle boarding and they get out there and they just disappear. So if you go to Lake Tahoe, just come here and look at the lake. Maybe put your feet into the water up to your knees or something, but don't go in it because it's dangerous. Hmm onion peel so yeah and we have um, Pyramid Lake that's on the Indian Paiute Indian Reservation that lake is very unique to go look at there's like a um, pyramid in the middle of it that's like really strange and weird and there's a lot of folklore around that lake But that's another place. Don't go swimming in that. Mm -mm. <coughs> Out here it's pretty nice. So we got casinos. I'm in Reno. I'm not in Las Vegas. We have casinos and things to look at. There's a little something for everybody here. And if you asked me if I'd ever move back to Florida, I would tell you no. Not because of so much any other reason but the humidity and the bugs and snakes and stuff. I'm not into that. Out here we have <clears throat> rattlesnakes. We don't really have a lot of bugs. I don't know, for me, where I'm at, it's all about the weather. I 
But it gets like 100 degrees here in the summertime. But it always cools down at night into the 60s. So where do you live? And what's it like? You find that piece of onion peel. <clears throat> anyway. I thought you'd like to see a southern meal. Black eyed peas with ham. And I put like a couple of potatoes in here and some green beans and onions and stuff. Cooked it in a crock pot all day really good. The cornbread's a Jiffy cornbread mix. But it's really good too, so, you know. Very delicious. Well, this concludes my mukbang. I'm glad that you pulled up a chair and joined me for a, a southern meal. So I hope you've had something to eat today. Hope you have a nice place to sleep. I hope that you're healthy, happy. And hope you are wealthy. I wish you prosperity. Anyway, I will see you gangsters next bum buck bomb.